Hi everyone, this is Ryan and I want to direct with a quick video about uh, how to register for an exam in Prometric and also maybe choosing Ateneo Testing Center as your uh, test center. Uh, I had a lot of questions in the blog about this post and uh, of course a disclaimer, I don't work for Ateneo or Prometric or any of those companies mentioned in the article but uh, I just I had experience taking some exams from them and it was a very pleasant experience. I'm not sure if that's still the case, but since I get a lot of questions, I figured I'd create a video on this one. So uh, now we're going to create a uh, maybe schedule an exam, but I actually won't go through it because, you know, I'm not going to take any exam there soon, but I'm going to go as far as I can to help everyone go through the process of signing up for an exam, looking for a test center. These would vary depending on what exam you're taking. In my case, I usually take a Microsoft uh, exam, Microsoft certification exam. So I'm gonna use that as an example, but hopefully it helps for other exams as well. So the first thing you need to do is of course, open your browser and then go to www.register.prometric.com. It would take you to this page as of this you know, recording. Uh, you choose your country in which case it's our beloved philippines the state and province is not applicable just click on next all right in this case in this page you'll be able to schedule an exam and do a few other things you can just go through them in, in this example we're gonna schedule an exam in my case i said the client is microsoft so i'm gonna choose microsoft there and then the program, I know that this is the program that I usually sign up for, uh, exam starting at 070, and then click next. And then you have to read some information from the client or the exam provider, and just click next again, and then select your actual exam. So remember that this list would vary depending on what exam you're trying to take and what the vendor is or who the exam provider is. But the idea is you just select your exam over here. I'm just going to select a random exam. Um, this one, choose your language and be very careful about the language because if you get it wrong, you know, you, you'd have problems along the way. Currencies, I think it's usually in dollars. So it's $80 in this case. Once you've done that, click next. And then it would give you a list of all testing centers in the area. In this case, it says 10 sites in the Philippines are available for this specific exam or provider. So this is the site that I was talking about in the blog. And in this case, you can either schedule an appointment or check their seat availability. In this case, we're gonna do schedule appointment. Click on that and you'll be prompted to log in or create an account. I will not go through creating an account. Uh, I'm sure you'll be able to figure that one out. But in this case, I'm going to just log in to my account, click log in, and then it would give you this page. It says like the selected appointment duration, this is the time allotted for the exam. It's three hours and 15 minutes. And these are the available dates. In this case, the only available dates is 23, 24, 25, and 30. So you have, just have to pick whatever works for you. And hypothetically, I'm gonna choose 30 and then select your time. And then after you've done that, click next. And so assuming in this case, I want to take the exam October 30, 11.45 in the morning and then I'm going to click next and uh, it will ask me some information about my company. You can just say, you know, I think you can skip these. Let's just say test company and say this would again be different depending on the exam. I think this is like Microsoft specific, many companies are part of the partner network and must prove they employ blah, blah, blah. So just say, you know, test address, city, say Makati, and then Metro Manila. Good um, find Metro Manila. Hmm, that's interesting. There is no 
state or province. I'm pretty sure they have it. Find it. Hmm, that's interesting. Apparently not. So I'll just keep it the way it is, like state or province, and zip code one 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 one. Primary phone you have to give it, and then at this point, I think it's going to it's working, and I think this point it's going to ask you to like you know either pay for it or do something else. Let's see. Okay, so it would ask you to pay for it, like enter promo voucher and some other information, credit card information. I'm not sure if you can actually pay on site, but you know, in my previous experience, I usually use a credit card, and that's pretty much it. And then if you click on this one, you've registered successfully. You appear, go to the testing center on this date you've selected, and then you're good to go. I mean, of course, be there early uh, if it's for the first time. I hope this helps. Have a good day, a good night, everyone.